It's been a while, but I have a jewelry order to fill. So I'm revisiting my beloved classic coin necklaces. That's how I'll start the order. Pieces that I know intimately and love to make. First, I need to make my little wire needle. Just fine gauge base metal wire. And I use a little strip of cord, loop it around the end, and twist and twist and twist. Very simple, very effective. And the necklaces are knotted on nylon cord. It's all about durability. And it takes double the length of the, what the necklace is going to be because each one of those little discs has a knot in between. First I lash the nylon cord to the clasp end and that's my little two inch extension. It's one of those little details that's very much appreciated and really expands the versatility of the piece. And now to count out the coins, the little discs of fine silver metal clay. Each one starts out as a tiny little ball of metal clay, pinched and nudged, and then fired in a kiln. And after it's fired, the edges waft up and that patina, my fingerprints show, and it gives that beautiful quality, that unique quality that makes it the coin necklace. And now to start threading the discs onto the nylon cord, stacking them up, getting them ready for the next step. Now I weave the cord through each little disc, woven, and then it'll be knotted. And now it's time to start knotting. I use these wicked sharp tweezers to hold the knot in place before I really cinch it down, make it very secure. Again, simple tools, but very effective. It's important to develop a rhythm, at least for me. It's all about focus and that rhythm. Nice tight knots adding to the durability. And it also makes the necklace flow, articulates each little disc. It's always a process sliding things down piece by piece, knot by knot.
Now to measure, make sure I've got the length right before adding on the clasp and tying that last knot nice and secure. Now to tie on the clasp, the little hook that I've made from scratch, of course, everything is made by me, all the details. You know, I always say God is in the details. So making sure that knot is nice and secure. And that it lays properly. And now just a drop of jeweler's cement inside the knot, and then that makes it even more secure. And then the ends go through a little crimp, and that's flattened out. And last and finally, cut off that end. Check the length. And it's done. What a joy it is to be back at my work table, to be creating pieces that I love in an amazing environment, surrounded by beautiful details and all my tools that I love. I am truly blessed. <laughs>